Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we will show you how to download Gerbil, how to load it to your Arduino using X loader, how to send a G code using Universal G Code Sender, and we will introduce to you two drawing softwares known as Half Toner and Easel. So let's get started. Uh, first, we can go to this website, github.com. Every URL will be in the description, so no worries. Uh, our version we will be using his version 0.9i and make sure you remember this number 115,200 baud rate. This will be used in many other programs. Uh, just right click and save link as it will save as a hex file. So to upload a hex file into your Arduino, you need X loader. So we go to this website, this one, GitHub again. This will be in description too. Uh, download Xloader as a zip file, extract it, then um, you, you'll find the app here. Just click on it, this window will pop up. Uh, go locate your hex file over here, the version you have downloaded. Device, this doesn't matter, just give the default value. Uh, choose the COM port that uh, you have your Arduino connected in, and enter the baud rate that we have just seen in the website click on upload it will be uploading uh, wait for it till it ends and 28,790 bytes uploaded uh, go ahead and close this program we have done half our ways now you can go to download your Universal G code sender so that you can send any drawing uh, as a G code format. So this is the version that we are using 1.0.9 classic. Go ahead and download this one. Uh, I have it downloaded over here. My downloads. This one. It will be a zip file. Extract it and you will get these four other files. Now you can just go uh, click on start windows.bat over here and the program will launch. Make sure you enter the COM port, again the baud rate, refresh button and you can choose the firmware which we, uh, in our case it's gerbil. Click on open and it's done. To uh, have a look on your settings and to alter your settings too, you can just uh, click on uh, double dollar sign enter and you will get your settings over here if you want to alter any value you can see these codes over here uh, for example to alter the x step per millimeter you can uh, type in dollar dollar sign 100 equal to and click on the number you want for example 312.5 you can enter and uh, our, uh, it's done okay you can check it again by click on the uh, double dollar sign again and you will get it, the value over here being altered so the you have the machine machine position which really matters in our case uh, work position is, is not that important uh, you need to ma make sure you understand what machine position is and how to change it we have the machine controls. We can move your machine over here by X, Y, Z. You can use the keyboard. Um, the reset zero, which is like making this current position as our zero position. You can return to zero, which is uh, as we have shown you, it's 20, zero, zero, uh, zero, uh, the time when we started our software. You can reset individual axis over here. Uh, macros not that important but it's just uh, writing many G codes over here and by simply clicking this button over here it will launch all these G codes that you have written fine mode we will come to this uh, later once we have a G code to be to, uh, ready to be uploaded now over here you can download half toner from this website uh, jasendori.com it will be in the description too uh, we have this version version 1.7 you can go ahead and open this so uh, this this program is very simple you go to load your image whatever image so I have my image here uh, you can choose your width the height you want uh, borders 
spacing spacing this is actually the bit size the drill bit size uh, the angle now uh, as you can see here this is the original image now we can go to preview and we can see what's actually happening here the black areas is actually where the machine is gonna drill deep in so I prefer lines and that's what uh, we have shown you in our previous episodes I have shown this image the angle changes the angle of these lines uh, these are set to 60 degrees we, we can make waves even if we increase uh, the wavelength the amplitude and uh, that's it I like this image you can invert it inverting it means now these dark areas are the one that uh, being drilled so here it should be deeper than my forehead or the cheeks the hair will be deeper in but I prefer this one so basically it's all these areas are deeper are, they are all deep so uh, I go to toolpath here we have the save z it doesn't actually matter but the default just keep it the default value the feed rate you have you have the spindle rpm according to your machine and that's it uh, better not to alter with these values unless you know what they all mean then you can go ahead and click write g code you're gonna save it i'm gonna save it in my desktop uh, for the sake of this tutorial um, you can go on and name it whatever you want let's say tutorial and uh, save now as you can see it is a dot text file don't be afraid I know most of the G codes are in dot NC or dot tap but uh, this one is actually a generic file format dot text this uh, allows any uh, G code sender to understand this file so no worries dot uh, text doesn't mean it's not, it's not gonna be uploaded you can go uh, Actually, what you can do, uh, you can just type in tutorial again or .nc because I prefer using nc instead of just a generic file format and yeah, uh, save and that's it. It's not gonna uh, really matter over here, but uh, my program, the University G Code Sender, is custom to be much more fluent with dot uh, nc files so go to your nc file over here find mode browse in our desktop you can see our both tutorials so i'm going to use the nc file or you can go ahead and use the dot text let's, let's try this one uh, g code file open and it's uploaded you can go ahead and click on visualize and see from where will it start now uh, a window will pop up over here yeah this is the drawing that's gonna be drawn in our CNC machine now this is the zero zero point it's gonna start over here go uh, moving these parts like that the whole way till the end now I know it's not uh, much clear that we have our eyes, the mouth over here, but uh, on the wood it will appear much better. And um, uh, that's how you can, and just by clicking send, your machine will start playing. Now machine is running and you can go to our uh, uh, visualize, yeah. can see the uh, the machine movements that's uh, one way of uh, having your uh, drawings the second way is by using easel.com uh, that's much easier uh, we will show you how to use easel in other episode uh, that's because it needs more time to explain the details of this uh, but make sure you, you like this video, share, subscribe and thank you.